if you are interested in learning how to become a living your design guide you do not have to want to become a certified guide if you want to take just the training portion of this program and that is going to be coming up as far as the open house next month august 22nd uh, 10 a.m here in arizona sedona arizona is where i'm at broadcasting to you live so with that being said now if we go into the other course that I have um, also coming up, we have about, I think, three people now, and I usually start a course with a minimum of five, but the profit potential coaching sessions that this is an example of, it's based on Ra Ruhu's uh, Mastering the Material Plane series, which is available at jovianarchive.com. I use this profit potential coaching information for all of my students and clients who want to know how they're here to master the material plane or how they're here to be materially successful. So instead of just you know, teaching courses, as an example here, one of the certification courses we have is learning how to be a professional living your design guide. Rather than just giving somebody a certification and off they go, I prefer to make sure that they're empowered and supported in being successful materially if this is what they would like to do as far as part of their work in the world. It's near and dear to my heart that people are successful, particularly my clients, my students. So I want to make sure that they're empowered. And uh, also, I use this profit potential coaching material in my projector success secrets series. So there's three different places that we can work with your charts. And this again today is an example. Okay, so here we have Carla. And Carla, as you can see, is a very different kind of human being. We have a lot more openness down here. We have a beautiful mental projector. Mental projector because only the head and ashna are defined. The throat is undefined in this case, but it could be the throat defined as long as it's only to the ashna center. Everything else down below the throat is undefined, open. So that means you're looking at a mental projector. Mental projectors are rarer as far as types are concerned, the rarer of the projector types. And they are very strongly, especially in this case with Carly, you can see strongly mentally defined. So that means they have a consistent mind. These are pure outer authority people. When we say the word outer authority in human design, it means that this person is specifically focused on being able to advise or guide others. Outer authority is also not just the domain of a mental projector, but outer authority is a term that we use. So with, with uh, Carla's chart, I'm going to go to a little bit deeper okay with carla's chart and i'm going to show you a secret in the human design system this is so much fun you guys this is one of the things that we're going to go as far as taking in a deeper layer in the profit potential coaching with the charts of people who are going to join us we're going to go even deeper into the design and talk about the languaging of let's say if you're deciding to become your own um entrepreneurial self rather than working for others but working for yourself how do you language what you do and one of the places we can see the outer authority in the design is right here this column of numbers in the middle so i'm going to not only work with her third line here but i'm going to pop over to this part of the design in just a moment so first things first when i look at carla's design we're looking everywhere for a third line just making sure right here's another place so we're going to keynote these two together. And the 28 in line three is right here. Okay, just double checking that I haven't missed anything else. All right, so we're going to begin in Carla's chart with what makes her really unconsciously and unusually eccentric. Because Uranus is a very eccentric planet. It moves weirdly, you know, it rolls on its side. It has a very strange orbit. And it's what gives us in our design things that might sidetrack us over on the conscious side and on the unconscious side, just part of what our movement is dictated by in alignment with who we are for others in this case, because Carla is a mental projector. So instead of me talking about how Carla is here to be satisfied for herself, nope, that's not the story. The story here is that Carla is designed to be 
who she is for others as a mental projector. So basically a talking head, as you can see, who is designed to be able to help people find the empowerment of a life that is really truly worth living and letting go of anything else that does not serve them. So Uranus being about movement, the third line here being about the material way. I myself am a 28 as well, 28 line two. And what I notice is that in it, what's important to me is that personally, my life has meaning and value beyond work, beyond just survival, beyond the you know world out there at large. What is it in my... Mm, there's trite terms like heart of hearts or my highest purpose, you know, the, the common phrases that we use, but what is going to make life most meaningful so that we live from the higher realm of existence, the higher plane, the highest expression of our vibrational frequency, okay? So this is also in the undefined center is a wisdom about health, safety, and security and well-being, as we noticed with Raquel's chart. But what makes life meaningful so that we know that our life had a purpose before we die? Gate 28 is about the fear of dying without a, a knowing what life, life's meaning was all about, to, for life to have meaning and purpose. So this is a huge profit potential for Carla as far as her recognition of the other because she is a projector and a totally open G, remember totally open centers mean these are huge profit potentials for her. So who this person is right in front of her, what their value is, okay? How they can make or keep promises to, you know, life as far as the meaning of life, the higher purpose of it all. So when it comes to profiting, Carla, my recognition is that it really has to be in alignment with the, what you yourself recognize their, their purpose is. Now I'm gonna keynote a couple more things from the deeper layers of psychology. And you might remember some of this from our training since you have gone through LYD guide and also my uh, projector LYD. And what I'm gonna do is keynote the outer authority in alignment with the windows of your view and how you're here to be motivated. So as a cross of contagion projector, you can contagiate other people. When you see what is wanted in alignment with where they are destined to go or uh, be, where they are right now as far as who they be and where they be, in order to see what is wanted for that material plane path of finding life's highest meaning and highest purpose, highest purpose in this life, you're here to communicate your realizations to help them make sense of life, life as it comes to, um, you know, how it's so oppressive and so futile. When you're listening to people's stories about their past experiences, it's almost like you're able to have this process of recognition about what they really truly need to remember on this path when it comes to the story that they're telling themselves. And that story that they're telling themselves oftentimes has some kind of fatal flaw. And that flaw has to do with uh, their lack of self-worth or self-value or recognition of their higher self on this plane. And you just have this natural knack of being able to tune into what is really needed to hear by that being. So saying things that have yet to be said, not necessarily just by that person in front of you, but what is their energetic nature wanting? What is the frequency of this being missing when it comes to the distortion of what they think they are? and the congruency of what they're here truly to achieve in this life as a higher meaning, as a higher calling. You're here to help call them out when it comes to making sense of the past and life's confusion. Why is it so oppressive and futile? Well, Carla has a story for you. Cara takes, Carla takes in their frequency and can tr uh, share, partially transmit this story of what they need to remember to contribute her knowing so that this person can course correct. And I myself have been a um, 
what do you call that, uh, beneficiary of Carla's great voice, her powerful individual knowing, her awareness when she communicates with you, even uh, time and space distance doesn't matter to Carla. She is so in tune with this um, awareness of what needs to be said in order to help this person heal from past pains and sufferings, okay? So Carla has the discipline to be able to communicate in a way that's going to change your frequency and how you deal with the past and how you deal with being able to be guided when it comes to um, mutation and manifestation of the form. So these other activations that are part of her outer authority, she has the voice of contribution as her personal law and protection. And that personal law and protection is also conjunct her unconscious son. So this means that this is a really good profit potential center for her, for Carla, because she's got a three in that undefined throat center. And she's got this Jupiter personal law and protection there as well. And our laws, our protections, great good fortune come if we obey our own law. Our laws help us to, to shine that um, expansive nature of what we are here to, and in her case, contribute as an individual in order to empower others on this plane and to guide others as somebody who has been through deep um, trauma of her own when it comes to the intimacy on the sexual and physical plane, the relational plane. And part of what is mutative about Carla is when it comes to conflict, she has a, an ability to contribute her individual knowing and her sense of recognition about this person and also what are the lessons from the past that needs to be passed on in order to empower this individual and to help guide them on their path in their relationships. And this comes from a, an innocent quality, not a desirous of it has to be this, but from this place of just taking in and seeing what is wanted to empower that individual and to also guide them innocently on this plane.